Number 15. Simplify the square root of 50m to the 4th over p to the 5th. Now, you see 50 is really 25 times 2, isn't it? And I know 25 is a perfect square, isn't it? And uh, this already is a perfect square, but the bottom, anything to an odd power is not a perfect square. So I'll make p to the 4th times p on the bottom. So let's see what we're going to do first. We're going to rewrite this as 25 times 2 is 50, and you have 4m's here and 4p's here. p to the 4th times p will be p to the 5th, okay? And then I'll split this into two radicals, okay? Just look at this one first. Split this in, I had one big radical here. I'm going to make this into a radical here and a radical around this one. And then I'll, I'll split this, this one radical, this numerator denominator here, I'll split it into two radicals here. And I'll split this one into two radicals. Okay? All right, so now I'm going to do, uh, this is going to be 5m squared. This is going to be p squared. Okay? 5m squared and p squared. All right? Now I've got the square root of 2 over the square root of p, and we can't have a radical in the bottom, can we? To get rid of the radical in the bottom, I need to take the top and bottom of this fraction by... Um, the square root of p. So here's my 5m squared, p squared, there's my p squared, there's my square root of 2, there's my square root of p, but I'm multiplying the top and bottom by the same radical here. Why do I want to do that? Because the bottom turns into the square root of p squared, doesn't it? Huh? The top will be the square root of 2p, okay? The bottom will be the square root of p squared, and then the square root of p squared is what? What's the square root of p squared? It's p, isn't it? So p times p squared will be p cubed. So I'll have 5m squared times the square root of 2p over pp, p, or p cubed. Okay?